Welcome back to Dehaven Family Farm. Don't mind me, I got a cough drop in my mouth. Um, today, I'm gonna show you a cool new attachment that I got from my mini excavator. It's sitting right over here behind me. I'm gonna kind of make this quick because the wind's blowing and I don't know how much it's gonna affect the uh, camera here, the video. But this is the attachment right here that goes on the mini. So I'm gonna leave you in suspense for a few minutes and uh, I'm gonna get the mini out and get this hooked on there and then I'll show you what it is. So check this out. By now you figured out obviously what it does. This is a attachment that obviously goes from an excavator to your standard skid steer style quick attach plate. So obviously you have your two arms here, one here and one there. We can drop those down and uh, it'll drop down through the bottom here. Hang on. Ow. Just whacked my thumb right there. And it drops through the bottom right up in there. And that baby is now locked on there. So, check that out. So now we can scoop into piles of things. Um, we can scoop into the side of a bank. We can basically put just about any attachment that would go on a skid steer or tractor on this. Um, I forget what the weight limit is, but it far exceeds the capacity of my small machine here, you know. But uh, I can put, obviously this, this is a 66 inch skid steer bucket uh, that I've had for a while. So we can put that on there. I can put the forks on there. My big grapple I could actually put on there because I do have uh, two hydraulic ports here. You know, one runs the thumb and you just turn that, turn it off. And then the, there's one port here and one on the other side that you can run, um, you know, other hydraulic attachments like the brush cutting head I have. Um, so yeah, we could we could run all kinds of things. The landscape rake. Um, no, I don't know where my landscape rake is. I was going to show you, but anyway, uh, some people call them rock rakes, just just a curved tying rake. That would be pretty cool if you're trying to clean up like a bank or something. You could reach way up there and just kind of rake down. So uh, this is a a pretty awesome attachment, uh, very versatile uh, attachment. So it does have some adjustments on it. So it's made by a company, I think it's called Cal4, I believe is what the actual brand is. Uh, made in the USA, not a sponsored video. I had to pay for this. <laughs> um, so there's some adjustments here. Obviously this plate mounts uh, to this quick attach piece and you can see there's two holes. So you could, you know, twist the plate. Right now it actually seems like 
uh, I almost need another hole up here so that I could twist this up because it's tipped up all the way uh, at the moment. So I don't think I'm going to adjust anything, but I will probably tighten these down just to make sure because there's a little gap on this side. That side's tight, but um, got grease fittings on there. Uh, it's very well built looking piece. Uh, definitely not a, a skimped on thing. Very well built, all thick, heavy material. You know, again, it's made to... Uh... Oh, there you go. Here's the sticker over here. Again, not a sponsored video. I'm going to show you who makes it here. They are out of North Carolina. Uh, I actually bought this from um, a local dealer that I have here. Hang on. So I bought this from a local dealer uh, that is a, a dealer represents this company. I didn't call the company directly and the sun might be in your face. So I, I was trying to support my local dealership uh, that does some work for me. I buy some attachments and things from them. So I called them up and uh, they were able to get it. And in fact, originally they were told by this manufacturer be maybe six to eight weeks. And I think it was only maybe two weeks <laughs> and I had the thing. So that's fantastic because I actually am, uh, why I'm kind of rushing to make this video here today is because this machine's getting loaded up to go out on a job tomorrow. So this attachment is going to be used uh, on a job starting tomorrow. Uh, I'm happy it came in. It gives me some flexibility. And I'm going to make a video showing you guys, uh, you know, using this. We're going to take this bucket because uh, I have some stone work and things to do but um, and some dirt work. But we're going to use it for all different kinds of things here. So um, there it is, guys. Really, really cool attachment. Very well built. And uh, look forward to seeing it in quite a few videos. Um, I'm going to try fitting it on some different things here and, and see how it looks. Uh, but again, yeah, really, really cool attachment. Um, so for those of you who have followed the channel a while, you guys know that I um, have a bucket that I modified to mount on the blade of the machine so that I can basically have about this size bucket. It's a little smaller and it hooks on the blade so I can carry it with me. And then it has um, a thing built on top so I can grab it with the normal bucket and thumb of this machine so uh, overall that works pretty well but there are a few limitations with it you can't grab a hold of it enough to actually dig into something like if you had a pile of gravel that you needed to dump down over a bank or something that is more for carrying material and just dumping it out uh, than it is uh, actually using the bucket kind of almost like a skid steer because basically what this does is it obviously is not a skid steer replacement putting this attachment and stuff on this machine but it gives you more of a skid steer style capability so i can actually now back drag with this uh, i can put a little down pressure on that and i can back up and i can actually back drag with that um so i you know maybe you're saying well use the blade well i i can use the blade uh but the bucket back drags a little bit nicer um, and then again if you're trying to work up on a bank or down over a bank you have that capability so I think it's going to be really neat to try this out and uh, see how it does so I'm, I'm really excited about it uh, I don't really have a whole lot of else to say about it other than subscribe and hit the bell icon because you are going to see this used in an upcoming video uh, like I said it's going out the door so if anybody has any questions about this attachment, quite obviously, I just got the thing. Obviously, it came to me and it fit as opposed to some of the other things I've purchased. Um, it fit right on the machine, no problem. Fits right on the quick attach bucket. Everything works like it should so far. So um, yeah, any questions about it? Uh, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, even if you don't have a question about that, let me know how you think this is going to go. Uh, does this seem like a worthwhile investment? Uh, I'd be curious. Leave it in the comment section down below, guys. So anyway, I got a whole bunch of stuff to get loaded up to get ready to go, to go to that job tomorrow and make some more videos for you guys. So again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next video.